All right, how you ladies doing today? Doing good. Doing good, doing good. Um, and so how did we just meet right now? How did our paths cross? Okay. Support, follow. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And what are we going to be talking about today? Fitness, mental health, or something about reflexology. Yeah, reflexology. It was it was feet, <laughs> mental health, and reflexology, right? What are your? Do you guys know anything about mental health in terms of like any subjects that you guys follow or research? Uh, I think it's probably not true, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what, do you guys have any like subjects where you follow, you research, or? You know anything about? I don't follow anything, but I kind of know a little bit about it a lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Not specifically, um, I'm in a grad program for public health right now, so we have been focusing on mental health, but like here and there. Okay. And what are we? What are the topics we're going to discuss today? You said my feet, reflexology, and self-esteem. Is that what you said? Mental health. Mental health. Mental health. Absolutely. And so, are there? Is there anything that you know about like mental health? Any research that you've done? Well, she likes going on hikes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Um, how do you feel? So I asked you before, how do you feel about your feet? Like you, oh, you... it's very nice. Uh -huh. I feel, I feel, uh, after, after walking, uh, uh -huh. I feel better. So I okay. like, I very like it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever gotten compliments? Has anybody ever complimented you on your feet? Anybody ever said, Hey, you have nice feet or anything like that? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, uh male or female? Uh, ask her is there like a male or female gave her the compliment, but just a female. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. And how would you feel if a guy gave you a compliment? Oh, pues, um, no más. Oh, no más iría caminando, no hacerle gracias y ya seguir caminando. She said just like just thank you. Like oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Um, how do you feel about your feet? What are your thoughts? My feet? Yeah. I have no feelings about. I have no thoughts about my feet. You don't like them. You don't like them. I like them. They're good. Okay. They okay. take me places. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, have you ever received compliments from anybody about your feet? Like anybody no. complimented you? No. no. Um, how would you feel if you did get a compliment from somebody? I wouldn't feel any different. Um, what are your thoughts about your own feet? Um, I used to not like them. Mm -hmm. I have very wide feet. Okay. Uh, but now I'm very into barefoot minimalist stuff. Absolutely. So, so you might know a little bit about the reflexology yeah, portion. Yeah, I know then. a lot about reflexology. Sweet. Actually, yeah. That's going to be great. <laughs> and so you you said you like them. You used to not like them, but you like them now. I mean, their feet. Like, okay. They, they take me places. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any characteristics that you like about them? Like a physical characteristic where you're like, I like this about them? Or... I mean, I like that they hold me up. Okay. And I like that I can walk for a long time okay okay nice nice um uh, what are your thoughts on uh somebody who's like into feet like a guy or a woman? i mean i know several of those people you do yes um how, how do you think that when you get a compliment from uh, a woman it's more sincere than what you would get from a guy i asked her is it better Okay. Because women know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, while I have you on camera, can we see what your feet look like up close? What am I buying? Can we see what your feet look like up close on camera? My what? I'm sorry. Your feet. Can we see what your feet look like up close you on can, camera? Because I have my tennis shoes. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Is it possible for us to see? No. No? no okay now is there a reason that you feel uncomfortable no or? i don't i just don't want to do it um uh, and so what are your thoughts on your feet on your own feet my feet yeah you can answer first and then i'll i'll ask you i don't think much about it wherever okay. they go i go so no thoughts how about you um i feel like they carry a lot of pressure because i walk a lot of places and like my weight is on them so. okay do you like them you don't like them oh, I like them, yeah. indifferent <laughs> so you love them yeah. okay what do you like give me one characteristic that you like the most about it they're reliable. Reliable. They get up. Like, well, well, give me a physical feature. Like, you like them because they're small. They're, you know, what do you like? They're, they're agile. They're agile. They're soft. They're soft. Okay. Here we go. How do you guys feel about a guy who would give you a compliment about your feet? Like, if you were in passing. A random? We could talk about random first. Sure. That's a, that's a whole other story. That's a whole other story? <laughs> yeah. In what way? Random people give you compliments that are mean. That okay. Means that's what it is. Okay. You can take it, you can leave it. 
Okay. Uh, so you're feet. indifferent about it. Yeah, about my feet. I've never had a compliment about my feet. And if I were, it'd probably be a little weird. Okay. So it'd be weird to you. Why, why would it be weird? Um, because I wouldn't expect going out that someone's watching how I move. Really, okay. You know? Okay. How about you? Um, I feel like I, I feel a little indifferent. I feel like that's not the thing that most people would like notice first. Okay. Um, Off guard. Okay, so how would you feel about like if a woman gave you that same compliment? And then ask her, can we see what her feet look like on camera? Like like on camera? Sure. Uh, Maybe one. Can you take off one? Um, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Because, eh, what did you say? She says she's the one to take. Oh, but nobody knows it's her because she's wearing a mask. Like, we don't, nobody knows it's her, so. No? Me, me gusta limpiarlas. Yeah. No. Okay. No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> and so now on camera, can we see what your feet look like up close? I would rather not. Okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the reason why not? Um, because uh, nobody's paying me to see my feet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a crazy year altogether. That's why I kind of started doing We'll get a little bit more into that. So, um, real quick, while I have you guys on camera, can we see what your feet look like up close? No, I'm not taking my skates off. I know. You said no? <laughs> this is too much effort. They're nice, no? though. I will tell you. Yeah. I might have a picture of them about today. Okay. Oh, yesterday. <laughs> well, the whole, the whole thing is that this is part of the interaction. And, like, when we get to the mental health, I'll tell you about it. But so, you're saying no? No, only because of the conditions we're in right now. I'm like, what do, what do you mean? Oh, because you're rollerblading? Yeah. So, you I could. I was, like, in my sandals. Then okay. Yeah. What could you, you can't take off one? No. Okay. And for you two? No. Okay. Cool. No worries. And so let's delve into the mental health aspect. Have you guys ever heard of DBT? No. It's called dialectical behavioral therapy. Okay. okay. And so what they try to teach you in dialectical behavioral therapy, let's say you have a fear of approaching strangers, right? You get anxiety like every time you come into contact with somebody new. What they try to teach you is to put yourself in that uncomfortable situation over and over again do it repetitively right and with the thought being that when you do that when you feel that uncomfortable urge to like go the opposite way and not to approach that what you should do is do a self-assessment and ask yourself what's the worst that could happen right there's not a threat to your life or to your safety that you should proceed and live in the moment because by proceeding you may end up experiencing like a pleasurable event a good moment um things of that nature what are your thoughts on that what are your thoughts on what I just discussed right now? What I just said. Is that a practice? Yeah, you can look it up. Sounds like a nice practice. Okay. Yeah. But putting things, everything theor theoretical, uh -huh. and when it's done, it's kind of different, right? Yeah. So theoretically, that sounds good. Okay. But me practically practicing that, I think you'd have to, it's everything is a case by case. That's true. So personality wise, um, for myself, speaking from my own experience, walking up on a and like uh, approaching a stranger mm -hmm. isn't hard. Okay. But if I have a goal or like a, a, like a message I have to get across, mm -hmm. that adds another layer, you know? Okay. So okay. it might be a little more All right. How about for you? Um, yeah, I feel like uh, I wouldn't necessarily walk upon a stranger. I mean, well, I it's not it's not just for that. Okay. So let me give you another example, right? So for me, I have a fear of like drowning almost drowned as a kid and so for me being like submerged in a large bodies of water like freaks me out like right um i started watching this guy's uh, channel on youtube his channel is called scouting sessions um and throughout the pandemic like he was going up and approaching uh, people and talking about like different topics of this nature where he was basically what was he scouting for? huh I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you but anyway he was like discussing mental health and a lot of people were having issues because like they've been locked up for so long due to the pandemic and they hadn't spoken to anybody. And we're actually creatures that are meant to be together, right? To like coexist and things of that nature. So to be locked up for so long and not have anybody to talk to, it's kind of hard. So like I was saying for me with the with the, with the the whole swimming part and things of that nature, um, I had that fear of like just being submerged, but I've gone out and like kind of done things to like push myself past that first hurdle of like where it's mental. Um, so now I can kind of get in the water don't feel that fear. Haven't learned how to swim yet, but I'm getting there. So, 
Um, that's what I mean from that, that. It doesn't have to be the anxiety from like a stranger, but how do you feel in general about like trying to live in the moment? Of course, like you said, it's, it's a case by case basis. But I'm saying for the most part, when you have a situation that may depend on you, like having to speak to somebody, how do you feel? I think I definitely think about like what is the worst case scenario what mm -hmm. could have come from it um like even I guess just in my experience like if I was to do like public speaking especially like since I'm in like my grad program right now yeah I don't think I feel comfortable like doing like public speaking or like presenting like ideas but if I have to then yeah what's the worst that could happen absolutely as as I get through it, then. and that's the thing that you should like tell yourself like when you're in the middle of that like what's the worst that could happen that somebody might not like mm -hmm. it or something like that but it may be one out of however many people is in that room that might not like it. and we can't that's something we can't control we can't control what mm -hmm. other people think so that's that's kind of like where it goes in terms of that living in the moment sometimes we get caught up in our own thoughts about thinking about what this person might think what that person might think and we end up psyching ourselves out so that's kind of what um this is all reflexology i don't do you know anything about it yes. okay so it's the study of the different pressure points we have in our hands and feet mm -hmm then those pressure points correlate back to other parts of our body and basically through massage acupuncture things like that you can alleviate stress and tension and those different body parts thoughts on that do you like it you don't like it i like it but i it, it all depends because some people don't know how to do it so it depends if That's you true. find a good person that does it but i like it but i think massages and all that are overrated okay all right mm -hmm. all right cool so in terms of like my approach about approaching you about the interview was it good bad is there anything good. i can improve you were on? not pushy at all okay okay in terms of the interview how the interview went from start to finish was it good bad it was good it was fine okay did you learn anything in terms of anything new or about that that illness that you said that uh, dbt the DBT, yeah because i never heard of it but yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. well it's not an illness it's just something that they try to get you to to practice like it's like a practice in right. terms of uh -huh. for people who don't live in the moment some people um, like myself in the past, I've been somebody who I overthink things. Mm -hmm. And so what they try to tell you to do is like go out and like to just ask yourself what's the worst that could happen and then move forward as right. opposed to standing still. So right. that's what it's about. So, but you learned something about DBT today. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. And so um, if you could rate the interview scale of one to 10, what would you rate it? A seven. A seven? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. And so do you have any final words? Um, I'm asking people like anything that they might want to give as far as advice, things you learned in life um, that might help people from a mental health aspect who are watching the channel, like anything you can like add? No, not really, because I'm not an expert on that. I just think that they should, we should take care, we should take better care of our, our people that have mental issues, but I have no advice for them because I'm not a specialist. Oh, well, what I mean, like things you might've learned in life, like things like you, you learned something through trial and error, like you talked about earlier about being a teenager and wishing you would have like done things differently. Like, is there anything that you learned that you can like pass on to somebody else? No, no. Okay. Really. Okay. Well, thank you so much for the You're interview. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You All too. Right. So, okay. So wrapping up as we get to the end, how was my approach? Well, my sister approached me, but when I did come over, mm -hmm. how was my approach to you? I mean, it seemed fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. And is there anything that you think I can work on during the interview? Like anything I should add or take away? I mean, I'm not away? really seeing the ties between like talking about feet to like, uh, like I don't really, if I have to be critical about it, okay. like, I don't really see the connection that you're doing. Okay. But, like, like mental health versus feet. The whole, the whole point about that is, so it's an uncomfortable topic for some people, mm -hmm. right? To see how comfortable you can be in an uncomfortable situation, right? And that's why I mentioned the DBT portion, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the reflexology portion comes in later. When I do talk about that, I usually do like the a little bit of a tickle demonstration to see like okay. how sensitive you are and things like that. But that's about it. Okay. So it, it ties together once once we do it, but like, it's okay. Like I don't try to force anybody into doing it. Yeah, like if you sure. don't feel comfortable, it's okay. For sure. Um, so you think that, with that being said, do you still think like I need to like find a way to like tie things together better? Or? Okay. It's more like, you know, sometimes you just don't want a stranger to touch your feet. Yeah, absolutely. It's, absolutely. It's not a fear. It's just like, mm, it's like maybe a little too intimate right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I understand that. I understand that. And so, in terms, so the interview, you don't think it really made a lot of sense not, in not terms. Me, okay. Honest, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
And so any last words that you might have, any type of advice you can give from a mental health aspect to like kind of add to the channel? You said you did have some knowledge of things. So anything you can kind of give to people out there? Like, no, no, no idea. Okay. <laughs> Be yourself. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, absolutely. Well, I thank you so much. I really appreciate the yeah, interview, and uh, I hope you have a great one. Okay. All right. Real quick, how was my how was my approach coming up? Like, how did she like? Did she think that I had a nice approach? She likes okay. Oh, thank you. Yes. Tell her I appreciate it. Yes. Um, and and how did she like the interview? There's more questions, but I'm trying to speed through it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Important. So, let's wrap up the interview. What were your thoughts on my approach to you guys? Like, yeah, did you think it was good? It was bad? Yeah. What was I? It was normal, yeah. Okay, it was normal? It wasn't anything that I would think. It was odd, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. It was an alarming okay. situation, I mean. Okay. Uh, approachable. It, yeah, it was, you're very approachable, yeah. but um, considering, like, Sunday, mm -hmm. it's 7. Yeah. 7 on 1. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it wasn't, it wasn't weird. Yeah. Okay. But this is, like, a park that I frequent. So yeah. it's kind of weird because I've never been approached yeah, yeah. before at this park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this park. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and what were your thoughts on the interview as a whole? Like, did you think that... It was informative. Did you, did you learn anything? I didn't okay. know anything about reflexology. I okay. mean, I guess I did, but I didn't know, like... To that extent. That, yeah. Okay. Um, and then the DBT, that was good to know. Because sometimes you practice things, you don't know, you, you don't know like, terms of. So. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay, and so... Real quick, wrapping that up, you guys said that you thought my approach was good. You thought that everything else was uh, pretty good in terms of the informative part. Um, do you guys have any last words? How about something, because you guys both said you're kind of in the field of mental health and the aspect. Do you have anything that you can like actually give to somebody else? Because I was actually suggested, it was suggested by somebody else that I asked for advice that you could possibly give out to other people that they may not know. Anything? You don't have to, I'm just asking. Go out more. Go out more. Yeah. Go out more because honestly, it all starts it all starts with ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. being in our heads, being stuck and stifled and stagnant within mm -hmm. ourselves. So just go out more. Okay, okay. And you don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay. I mean, yeah. even with That's this a interview, big one. Yeah, even with this interview, you asked and we Absolutely. Helped, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I thank you guys so much and uh basically have a great one, okay? Thank you, thank you.